When I was outside on Fifth Avenue, this woman in a beautiful Chanel suit came up and she said, aren't you Lisa? And I said, oh yes, that's the part I play. And I opened my pocketbook to get out my pen. She said, well, I hate you, bitch. And she punched me right then and there. That's when I knew I, I kind of hit the mark. As Agnes used to say, she wanted people to throw their sandwich at the TV set at the end of the show because they'd have to watch the next day. There's a familiarity that exists. You know, we're in their living room. Soap fans are what sets our genre apart. They spend five days a week with us. We've been with them through changes in their life. There's a kinship there that exists, and, and we feel it on both sides. Between five and ten years ago, the budget started getting slashed. The more viewers they lost, the more money they lost. The more money they lost, the less money they had to pay for the veterans that we really wanted to see. Our shows were very expensive. Goodness, we used to travel. They would travel all over the world. There was a time when ABC Daytime financed all of ABC Sports. They used to call daytime the goose that laid the golden egg. It became a game of trying to figure out how you could put out the best product in the most efficient way. From the 1960s to the present, there's been a consistent decline in ratings for any one show. TV shows in general, everyone is experiencing a decline in viewership because there's just so many choices. Grandmothers were watching you just had ABC, CBS, NBC, and that's it. Now, you get 450, 500 channels to choose from every day. The way that people are, are taking in this content now has changed dramatically. Daytime soaps sadly disappearing. They're not really at some point gonna have much of a choice but to catch on to these independent web soaps. This genre that revolutionized storytelling on the radio, revolutionized storytelling on television, now we're in the digital age and even though the genre is in crisis, these shows are still alive. There's 18 million people a day that watch soaps. I just happen to know the numbers. These stories are important and they've been here since the beginning of radio. Look at the numbers of people downloading on YouTube. Look at how many people are trafficking Hulu that are watching those. Those numbers, beyond just Nielsen numbers, are driving how soaps are being watched. The joy and the tears and the worlds that we created there's still an audience for that, and there's a new audience for that. Millions of lives have been saved by soaps. I still believe in their power of storytelling and believe in their power to help our world and transform our world. People love a story, and I don't think that will ever end.